All this new and approved, the jester news arse. More than all, what we got here today? Let's talk about money. Let's talk about money. Money. Money makes the world go around, the world go around. You remember this fantastic song from uh, Cabaret with the unbelievably brilliant Joel Grey. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing with your life? Right, so, today I want to talk about money. Um, Richie Herons, um, erstwhile gladiatorial fighter for the rights of detransitioners, uh, <coughs> love him, right, posted something interesting from 2018, which was um, written by a woman called Paroma Bhattacharya, who is an econo economist at the LSE, or was at the time. You might want to have a look and see where they are now. Uh, which is a, an interesting one because it's about sex reassignment surgery markets from 2018 to 2024. Follow the money, OK? So we're going to have a look at the article that she'd written and see what the tenor of the article was, as well as what the results of her, of, of her predictions have actually been. So with the social attitude towards transgender individuals undergoing a tectonic shift, you bet, Back the other way, I think, in 2004, 2018. Sex reassignment surgery market. How can that even be a thing? It isn't sex reassignment. It's butchering your body. Right, sex reassignment surgery. The sugary, sugary words they use, don't they? Euphemisms. Sex re it's not sex reassignment. And it will be registering massive gains over 2018 to 2024, as these surgeries are not only becoming socially acceptable, but also being accepted by legislative reforms. Yeah, you sideswiped us with that one. It, it's still happening in America. I mean, Joe Biden sat down the other day and had a chat, chat with a bloke. You've got the leader of the free world. Sat talking to a bloke. Pretending he's a woman. 2022 and incarnate in that scene. What? <laughs> Absolute dodo bird, Biden. Isn't it? Have you seen the video of him when he says, well, he's supposed to be, he's supposed to be describing Amer America in one word and then gets it all wrong and says foot? If you haven't seen it, find it. It's on my timeline somewhere. So there, America can be described in, in one word. First, you have a foot. Excuse me. <laughs> he really is a dodo bird. Right, okay, so. Um, socially acceptable. They're not socially acceptable. All right, I'm going to, you know, we'll kick against the grain here. Um, they're becoming less socially acceptable, and rightly too, because the cat's out of the bag now but are also supported by their reformers of rights. Surveys showed that nearly 1.4 million adults in the US were transgenders. That's what it's actually written. Transgenders? Uh, right, I don't mean, what? Transgender, you mean people with body issues, people with, you know, distress, and we're not sure why, because there's comorbidities with it all the time. Right, the number of count, this number accounts for only 0.6% of the total adult population of the country. It does, was right, yeah, it's about right. Not far off, not, not far off, I, I estimate. Why are we changing the world for them then? We're not, are we? Something more to it than that, eh? 0.6%. Right. Um, a commendable section of people to be reckoned with. Commendable? For what? As the idea of being a transsexual individual finds social acceptance. Now it's transsexual, not transgender. Bait and switch, they do it all the time. Um, more transgenders are completing their are more trans. So it's back to transgenders again. This is a very confused young lady. More transgenders are completing their completing their physical identities. Oh, I mean, you just you want to want to swear, don't you? Completing their physical, they're not completing anything. They are wrecking something that's already the way it is. So by opting for sex reassignment again, sex reassignment doesn't exist. So much so that plastic surgeons around the world agree. Is there some kind of plastic surgeon WhatsApp group we're aware of with, you know, thousands of people in it? Uh, that the number of surgeons that specialise in it are far less than the number the world requires today. Really, right. Go and become a plastic surgeon, she's saying. It was estimated at 200 million in 2017. 200 million pounds. And is anticipated to grow more than fourfold over 2018 to 2024, which is interesting. Because in 2022, it was 2.1 billion. That's a bit more than fourfolds. 2.1 billion pounds being spent on this nonsense. 
So the American Society of Plastic Surgeons presented a survey conducted by approximately 700 doctors to confirm that surgeries rose 19% in 2016, which is all down to the expansion of Medicare coverage in America. And that included gender confirmation surgery and increasing social acceptance of the idea of surgically changing one's sex. You can't change your sex. As young, more young people, celebrities and other recognised figures are challenging the conservative approach to gender and sexual preference. Not wanting people to mutilate their bodies. Not wanting to inculcate children into a cult. Not wanting to cut the tits off young women and not wanting to remove the cock and balls from young men is now a conservative position. And she means conservative with the spittle and bile of those that think that conservative is a bad thing. Make no bones about it. Social art, societal attitudes are becoming more inclusive. There's nothing inclusive about, about mutilating people. Nothing. The only thing that's inclusive about that is economically, which is no surprise, this woman's an economist. Only 11% of transgenders remove their testicles. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? That's all right. Only 11%. That's only a few thousand people. <sighs> Right, the UK has, has also recorded a commendable demand, commendable again, demand for sex reassignment surgeries, with some surgeons being of the opinion that the demand is humongous enough for the island nation to not find enough doctors to perform the surgeries. It is very obvious to me from this that this person's English is not their second language, so I may be, it may be that we're mistaking what she said for a, a different usage of words because of culture, perhaps. So we must be aware of that. Um, many NHS patients in London have to wait for more than a year and a half. I think that's up to about four years now, and obviously the longer it goes on, the better. As soon as we can get the waiting list to 60 years, we can stop it. Um, estimates show that referrals for surgery have increased at a rate of 20% 20, 20 per year as of 2016. Um, the UK market is expected to boom exactly the same as she's saying about the states and the global market so we expect to see the same thing here unless the nhs can get itself together and stop doing it don't if you're over 18 and you want to hack your body about feel free none of my business do what you want that's awful an awful thing to say it's horrible that i think that but i have to because 18's the age you know you're, you're an adult then you're an adult that's it um high costs can impede many aspirants of sex right to aspire to want to mutilate your body Go on, tell me that's normal. They impede many surgeon, many transgenders, again, this bizarre wording, transgender, desirous, many transgenders desirous of a sex change surgery have therefore started to look for options, options outside of the first world nations. And countries like Thailand and India, India have come to fill the void. India, as you know, is currently under assault by Stonewall. Um, and Notably in Thailand, a sex reassignment surgery can be performed for a third of the cost it will incur in the US. This is, an, this is an advert, isn't it, for sex change surgery by an economist. Um, many individuals who have opted for sex reassignment surgery in India have testified that the facilities in the country are even better, while the cost is lower than that of Thailand. It's an advert. This is an advert written by a London School of Economics economist for taking people abroad to have their bits chopped off. That's what it is, an advert. Um, evolving technology has played a part. Even a few decades back, the technology necessary for sex reassignment was not available. Again, you can't reassign your sex, it's nonsense. But the progression of innovation in the field of plastic surgery it has come to be thought of, wait for it, this, this is the bit that got me about this, it has come to be thought as the very pinnacle of medical science. For the love of God! Is it me or is this lobotomies all over again? It was the pinnacle of science, it was the pinnacle of science. At the time, it was the pinnacle of medical science, and they're calling this the pinnacle of medicine, and an impressive combination of chemistry and surgical efficiency. No wonder Ritchie was spitting blood about this. As technology is expected to evolve further, the market will gain immense traction that will continue over 2018 and 2024 and beyond by Paroma Bhattacharya. Go and have a look. See who that young person is. Link to the thing in the Dubris, which, for those of you that asked, is the description. Sorry. I love it. Somebody, somebody from America or something. What does he mean by the Dubris? <laughs> yeah, but I mean the description, right? Okay, so 
Buy me a coffee. Keep me going. I desperately need to keep going. Um, or become a Patreon, or better still, come and become a Warrior Teacher. I, this is de rigueur now. I say this at the end of every one. So I would suggest that um, you have a quick read of that and see what you think. Because the amount of money that's being made from this has gone from 200000 to $2.1 billion in less than a few years. This needs to be stopped, and the sooner it's stopped, the better for everybody concerned. Um, good luck. Have a good day. Have a great day. Hey, I've got to work today, and I'm feeling better because the cold's gone. Anyway, I'm going to bugger off now. So go get on with it. See you later, you lot.